going to choose one supplement to lose weight will be fat. Why fast? Because once you teach the body to burn fat, then the body continuously losing fat. For example, most people tell you, oh, you need to eat, and I'm going to, I hope that people can see this. Most people to eat, tell you, oh, the fats. Well, mono, polyunsaturated fats. Well, I want to have a supplement that allows me to have all of them. And most people believe that the polyunsaturated fats should be what they should eat the most. That is a fallacy, that is absolutely false. How do I know? Because I experience 10,000 of patients looking at this. And I know it's not true because I see it. Now, if you have a client that wants to lose fat, you want to make sure that in this order. Can you see that, Travis? Po yes. Poly, saturated, mono. So you start with saturated, mono, and polysat polyunsaturated fat. When the people are wanting to lose weight, I try to tell them, okay, we're going to supplement. What are we going to supplement with? We want to supplement fats that are necessary for us to be able to lose weight. Okay, I'm pretty old. I'm 51 years old. I'm going to be 52. So I try, I try to really watch what I'm eating fat-wise. Now, monopolysaturated fat has to be in a balance, okay? Now, most people know polys as fish oils, okay? And they think that Corn oil, canola oil, all those are polyunsaturated fats, but you do not want to have those because they do not lose you, they don't let you lose fat. The biggest sample that I have here, and I want to put this here really big, is this. Okay, many people could recommend flaxseed oil. Well, you can't, that's a supplement that I never, never use to, for a person to lose weight because it doesn't allow it. Why? Because it is unbalanced, number one. Number two is, the alpha linolenic acid is on omega-3, but it has to be converted to the active form. But it, the problem is that as you get older, you cannot convert that fat to the fish oils. Now, the biggest polyunsaturated fat that I will use is fish oil. Now, there has to be in a balance with mono. So if I have a client that, oh, yeah, I'm not losing weight, I want to know where I am, and I look at the macronutrients and I say, okay, your proteins, carbohydrates are what they're supposed to be. So I'm going to say, okay, we need to add a supplement to this. We're going to maybe add coconut oil, olive oil, or fish oils, depending what you're doing with that client. Okay? Now, I have a supplement called Alpha Omega-3 that, that has a combination of all those. And actually, it's one of the few supplements, or the only supplement that I'm aware of that has saturated fats in it with mono and polys, okay? And I will do that because I will actually be replenishing what the client is missing. Number two will be proteins. Now, it can be a protein shake, it can be a, a amino acid combination. Now, most people tend to overeat protein shakes or protein supplements because they say, well, I, I gotta eat two grams, I gotta eat three grams, okay? If you are taking protein-containing supplements, whey or casein, yes, you want to start about 0.8, okay, 0.9 grams per pound, okay? If, you, if you're using free form aminos, you want a one gram per pound, okay? My recommendation on a client that wants to lose weight is always, always to use free form amino acids because they bypass digestion, I know the client is getting what he's supposed to be getting, okay, in this case, the protein necessaries. And actually, I use one gram because I want that patient to gain more lean body mass, not worry so much about the fat, but I want to get into lean, lean body mass. If they want to lose fat, then I might go a little lower because I affect, I affect your insulin levels, I affect glucagon levels, cortisol levels, but that will be my second to go, okay? I will